approximately between 5000 and 1200 BC, the first civilizations. In around 5000 BC, most people on earth still live by hunting and gathering their food. Although there were small villages and towns in many parts of the world, most of the people in the world were still nomadic people. Over the next tens of hundreds of years, the humanity experienced a dramatic change. The development of farming led people to change their lifestyle and settle in towns and cities. This transformation in lifestyle paved the way for the world's earliest civilizations. Each of these civilizations have their own unique characteristics, but they also have much in common. For example, large ceremonial structures, richly furnished tombs, and trading with their neighbors. Despite the rise of civilizations in many locations on Earth during this time, nomadic way of life still continues for many people in the world. People living in the fertile Nile Valley came together and built small towns which finally coalesced in around 3100 BC and created the Kingdom of Egypt. Before going through details about ancient Egyptian civilization, we should know that between around 4000 BC to 2000 BC, the Sahara area of North Africa was not the desert as it is today. Much of the region had a wet climate, therefore farming was probably as productive and efficient as farming in the Nile Valley. However, sometime before 2000 BC, the climate changed into a much drier one. As a result, the grasslands disappeared and the climate conditions impacted farming activities. Consequently, many farmers left their lands and moved to other parts of the world. Egypt is the first civilization in Africa, and it emerged before 3100 BC along the productive valley of the river Nile. Ancient Egypt is famous for its great tomb building projects, the hieroglyphic writing system, and bronze technology. The Nile Valley was the second place in the world after Sumer where people began to establish communities. From around 5000 BC onward, small towns emerged along the valley. The towns here developed over time and formed the two kingdoms of Upper and Lower Egypt. Menes, a pharaoh of the early dynastic period of ancient Egypt, united both kingdoms in 3100 BC and built a capital at Memphis. Ancient Egyptians believed in life after death, and they believed that they had to preserve their bodies so they could use them in the afterlife. The Egyptians believed that when they died, they would make a journey to another world where they would start a new life, so they devised a way of preserving dead bodies by embalming or mummifying them. All the things they had used when they were alive were also buried in their graves. At first, only pharaohs were mummified, but by around 2300 BC, the privilege was extended to anybody who could afford to pay for the expensive process of preserving their bodies for the afterlife. The coffins of pharaohs were placed inside stone boxes, which were buried deep inside the pyramids. Ancient Egyptians had a very rich mythology. Their religion was a complex system of polytheistic beliefs and rituals. There were many deities in this complex belief system. Bastard is only one of these deities. 
Bastet is also known as Egyptian Cat Goddess. Cats were very important to the ancient Egyptians and were even considered to be demi-deities. Ancient Egyptians believed that cats protect the crops and slow the spread of disease by killing rodents. They were also thought to be the physical form of goddess Bastet. Bastet was the goddess of protection, pleasure and green growth would help. She had the head of a cat and a slender female body. Bastet was daughter of Ra, which is sun god of ancient Egyptians. Another ancient Egyptian god is Anubis. Anubis is the god of mummification and the afterlife, as well as the patron god of lost souls and the helpless. Horus is sky god and it is in the form of a falcon, whose right eye was the sun and whose left eye was the moon. Osiris was both a god of fertility and the embodiment of the dead and resurrected king. The Egyptians were among the first to formally divide their days into parts resembling ours. They were using sun clock to measure the passage of time. Another thing should be known about ancient Egypt is papyrus. The papyrus plant is a reed that grows in marshy areas around the Nile River. In ancient Egypt, the wild plant was used for a variety of uses, and specially cultivated papyrus grown on plantations was used to make the writing material. 